Hello, Twin Flames, Lacey here. Um, I'm on, on probably one of my last couple walks around the lake. I might record again, um, but I'm going to be moving. And I wanted to talk about um, that process and really share about surrender, how important surrender is on your Twin Flame journey. And it's only through surrender that you get anywhere. And so many of you may be feeling uncomfortable like you hear that as a concept um, and you don't know how to do it or you've been trying to surrender. <laughs> it's a funny thing like, you know, Yoda, do or do not, there's no try. Um, my spiritual teacher, Jeff and Shalia, talk about that. Uh, do or do not, <laughs> there is no try. But you, you've been, you know that you need to surrender and you've been, you know, trying to do it. But maybe... So maybe you don't know how, and those of you who are subscribed to my channel hear me talk about something called the mirror exercise, and that is the exercise that you use. It's a four-step exercise. It's written down. It's not the one that you do in a mirror. It's it's called the mirror exercise because you're you're taking all the stuff that doesn't feel good on the outside and you're turning it inward and healing it with love. And from that place, there's surrender. So I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, and if you want to practice the mirror exercise, learn about it. There's several places you can do that. Um, I'll tell you about them first, and then I'll talk to you about that place of surrender. Okay. So you can learn the mirror exercise in Jeff and Shalia's book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. That is available on Amazon. I've got a link in the description box. You can learn it in Twin Flame Ascension School if you're actually ready to heal your union completely. And um, that is um, also, I've got a link there. You can watch the first few classes for free. Try it out. Um, and then you can work on the mirror exercise once you kind of get familiar with it. You can uh, have coaching with me and I, that's what I use in my coaching. It really works. Um, those who have used it have experienced profound shifts in their life. Um, it really works. It has helped me to heal things like anxiety. Um, things like that. Like that I didn't think that I could ever heal. So I really want to encourage you to learn it. Uh, but let me talk about today's topic, which is like, well, how do you surrender? So I was thinking about myself learning how to swim when I was a kid. And I was in a pool and I was holding on to the side of the pool. And um, I didn't want to let go of the side of the pool. I didn't want to surrender into my swimming lesson, in other words. And um, so I had a swimming teacher who wasn't very nice, who was kind of trying to like coerce me and force me to let go. Needless to say, pressure does not induce surrender. <laughs> I did not let go of that wall. I was like, no, this person obviously is getting frustrated with me and impatient and I, I don't feel safe. How do I know they're not gonna drop me in the pool if they're being this mean to me, right? So um, I remember I had a different teacher, like I switched classes or something, I don't remember that many details. But I do remember there was this other teacher who, um, it's not like she was like, you know, uh, making me like, stay on the wall. That's fine. We're in a swim class. You can stay on the wall. That's not appropriate, right? A swim class is to teach you how to swim. So, um, but this teacher like stayed present with me and loved me and reassured me that she wasn't going to leave. Right. And it was through that love that I felt safe and I could surrender. And it works the same way with you. Only through love can you surrender. So I want to reiterate that only through love can you surrender. Um, here's another example. So a dog may be holding on to a little bone or a stick. And the dog's not going to like let go or surrender that little bone or the little stick unless there's something better, unless it's been trained. But here's how you train it to surrender it is you give them like bigger stick, bigger bone, or treat or something, right? And for us, surrendering means that you let go of the thing that's not serving you, that's that you've outgrown, like maybe a pattern 
Maybe it's a pattern of codependency. Maybe it's reaching outside of yourself to get love on the outside. And you experience contrast when you do that. Like, ouch, it hurts, right? Like, I don't, I don't feel good when I do this, but I keep doing it because I don't know any other way. Well, you have to have a bigger stick or a bigger bone, bigger treat, and that treat is God, right? You can say God, I say God. Some people like to say universe and divine, and we'll just be compassionate with people who may have blocks to the word God. That's okay. Same thing. We're all talking about the same thing. You need something greater than yourself, something loving to choose instead of the thing that doesn't feel good. In Twin Flame Ascension School, <laughs> Jeff and Shalia have a story. I just watched this class last night, it's class 71 and the Wednesday 7 p.m. recordings. By the way, these are recorded so you can watch them whenever you want when you enroll. Um, and uh, it was a story about um, Fabian who uh, was building a house. It was, it was a fake story, but it was like funny. Uh, building a home in a landfill, in a trash heap landfill, and was like clearing out these blocks of trash and dug a nice hole and like made quite a house in the middle of the landfill. But it was still in the middle of the landfill and it was smelling like garbage regardless. And so Jeff in class was saying, he came up to Fabian in this story and was like, hey, why don't you um, come to my house? You can actually have, I'm, I'm moving into a bigger house. You can have my pretty decent sized house. It's a little bit bigger than the one you built in the trash heap and it's not gonna be the trash heap. Why don't you come and take this? And um, the story is like, well, Fabian worked, 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 worked really hard at, at building his house in the trash, <laughs> right? Like, this is like us working really, 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 really hard at maybe our Twin Flame unions, but it still smells or still something's not good there. And it's like not, not perfect, not divine, right? So what is the... What is the smart choice there? Even though you worked really hard to build this house in the trash, it still smells bad and it's not adequate. The smart choice is to take the free house in the nice area, right? And that's kind of what God offers us, what the divine offers us with regard to um, healing, with regard to choosing love rather than choosing the pattern or the fear or um, the consciousness that you've been steeped in that doesn't feel good right with your twin flame it, it doesn't it doesn't feel good to be going through um, conflict chaos pain pain is not a good teacher so moral of the story is um, it's safe to know that there is a place that you can't see right now that makes it a lot easier to heal your union and you know the whole I think I said this in my reading on uh, the 22nd where I said that you can't resolve something from the conscious they can't resolve a problem from the consciousness that created it right same thing with your twin flame journey you need something else something outside of you something outside of what you've been doing, right? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Hey, Vicki, what's up? She helped me remember that quote line for line. Thank you. Um, same thing. So, well, how do you get out of this? If you've got blinders on and you don't know that this new choice is behind you, well, you don't know what you don't know, right? You don't know what you don't know until it's revealed and you don't do the revealing. Like, you don't know when my birthday is unless I tell you. You could probably look it up at a birthday reading. <laughs> but you, you don't know to, like, let's say that today is my birthday. It's not. Let's just say it's my birthday. You don't know that unless I tell you. And I can't get mad at you. Hey, you forgot my birthday because you didn't forget it because you didn't know it in the first place, right? And I'm getting a little off track here. But what I'm saying is these things, these places where in your consciousness you don't know how to heal your twin flame union because you've never been, you need to be shown it. Someone, um, God outside of you needs to give it to you. It needs to be given to you. And yes, 
it appears to come externally, but you're calling it in. By watching this video, you're making the choice to call in this consciousness, this awareness that you've been seeking, like how to fix it. And so I know the path. I didn't make the path. Um, my teachers did. Jeff and Shalia, they did. It is this inner work, the mere exercise of loving yourself. And ego will rant and rave and rally against it. Like, no, no, we have to keep holding on to the thing that's making us upset. We can't love ourselves here where we feel hurt. Or ego or fear will say, no, if I love myself, I'm going to be a nun or a monk forever if I just focus on myself. Or maybe that's selfish. And maybe I'll lose my twin flame if I stop focusing on them so much and focus on myself and love myself and pour a whole bunch of heaping, warm, juicy, delicious love into my heart. Wrong. Your twin flame is you, right? At the core, you share the same soul blueprint and they're you. So when you choose to love yourself, you're actually loving your entire union. Your twin flame reflects that choice back to you. It may seem counterintuitive. That's fine. It may be uncomfortable. That's fine. That's why you have support, right? That's why I'm a coach. That's why we have Twin Flame Ascension School. That's why there's a book. There's a community. There's a. Fr it's free. Um, the community is free. Facebook open forum. Twin Flames Universe open forum on Facebook. But it's not a place where you come just to vent. You don't come and you start talking about how mean your Twin Flame is or how, how much you don't like them or how upset you are. Those upsets, it's a place to heal, right? It's a place to ascend. Um, that's the topic of one of my next videos. It's about Twin Flames being an ascension path. Yeah, it's it's the real deal. Like, Anyway, yeah, choose to claim that support. Choose to go deeper on your journey and heal. It is possible, but it's going to be different than the stuff that you've been trying. It has to be, right? If you really want out of this pattern, of this cycle, if you really want harmony, and you get to be with your twin flame, that's promised, but you gotta go through the steps to heal it. You gotta do something different. So thanks for listening. Uh, don't forget, if you'd like to try Ascension Coaching, click the link that I put in the description box below this video. I'm still offering those. They're just 30 minutes long and they're only 33. Not a lot of time or money investment there. So you can try out the mirror exercise. Um, it's not a time to talk about your twin flame a lot. You can write me an email about that, but just really be open to trying the mirror exercise. Be open to trying something that has worked for a lot of people, including me. Um, and I'd love to help you and support you. So, uh, thank you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.